Everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Paul Nguma, founder of Analogy Lab. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a stock that I bought puts on and why you should keep it on your watch list. And I'm also going to be answering some of you guys' questions for those of y'all who dropped your stocks of interest in the comment section of this morning's pre-market analysis video right after the intro. All right, y'all, right off the bat, again, today was a pretty nasty day. Um, in in this morning's pre-market analysis video, I told y'all to be very, very careful in case we got deep in here, all right? And um, unfortunately, unfortunately, that level did not hold. There is a lot of longs trapped up here, all right? Lots of longs trapped up here, and it's gonna look in like a very, very bearish pattern, and that neckline broke right over here it broke it retested at exactly 10 o'clock and then it just kept falling downwards even more all right and if we zoom out a little bit if we zoom out some more right here we can see that it's trying to make a move back up again it's at this previous line of support and i honestly don't think it's gonna hold for too long it's literally like about to give out so my stance on the market is not it's not looking too too bullish right now, all right? Um, like I told y'all throughout this entire week, day trading is preferred rather than swing trading. Day trading is preferred rather than swing trading because swing trading is a bit risky right now, especially to the long side and especially because of this zigzag and this lack of, um, of consistency and this lack of trend. It's very choppy right now and it's not looking too great. Now the stock that I am shorting right now that I bought puts on is um, FUTU, all right? And FUTU, the reason why I shorted it is because of this. If you take a look on the daily chart, the stock went from $8 right over here all the way up to $204. And right now it's just not looking too strong to me. All right, it's not looking too strong. As you can see, um, it fell yesterday and it formed this very bearish engulfing candle. It gapped up today and it immediately gave out that those gains and fell even lower towards 145, all right? And there's also all of this space down here, all of the space all over here for this stock to collapse. I'm not very optimistic on this one. I saw this one today and I had to buy puts on it. And there's also some gaps below. If you change the perspective on this one just a little bit, there is, let me change this thing to the one. There's a very bearish head and shoulders, left shoulder, head, right here, and right shoulder, all right? And I do expect that neckline to give out tomorrow. Again, we will see how this one performs. There is a lot of room to the downside. And I would never advise anybody to dip by this thing at these levels, at these highs. Let's see how the weekly looks. The weekly looks, yeah, the weekly, the weekly doesn't look too good. Um, yeah, you y'all y'all see this. Y'all see how overextended it is. Um so these are the reasons why I'm shorting the stock and we will see exactly how this one performs tomorrow. Um, hopefully it doesn't go down too much and provides an opportunity for um, anybody who is interested in shorting this down to, uh, to, to, again, anybody who is interested in this stock to do as they please. Again, this is not financial advice. I'm just telling you guys what I'm doing, all right? So that is for that one. Now let's talk about you guys' stocks of interest. Um, the very first one that we're going to be talking about is QS. Let's talk about QS. Um, for all of you who watched this morning's pre market analysis video, um, I titled this one, This Stock is About to Explode. But in that specific video, I told all of you that what we want is for the stock to go all the way here to break out and be very, very patient with this one. All right. And I also said from minutes 236 all the way to minute 246 that the dip buyers are creating um, higher lows and the short sellers are creating lower highs. And we will have to wait between we will have to wait to see who is the winner between the shorts and the longs. 
and as you can see we got that confirmation right out the gates um i know the the this in a way the title of the video was wrong but at the same time the opportunity was still there all right for those of you who are very patient with this one this is the eighth time that i'm about to teach you all this thing let's say that you are bought at the open okay and also keep in mind that there were previous dip buyers previously who were using this level as a level to cut their losses all right and when they did it formed this massive thing right there and the consolidation followed by this very very bearish pattern provided an opportunity for a short play as a day trade right keyword day trade so the opportunity to make money was still on this stock even though the title of the video was not the was not the greatest all right i don't know how to again it's like it's it's kind of it's kind of weird and kind of difficult it's like the the title of the video like um i don't know how to i, I do not know how to title it right again i'm still working on it and um Y'all know what you're getting with these videos, but that's besides the point. The point is there was money to be made on this stock and the perfect entry was right over here to collect money on the way down right over here with puts. Just like in that same video, I told, I told all of you why I got out of Fastly, right? I told all of you I left Fastly alone, right? Over here. Because as a short seller, again, we trade in both directions on this channel, as a short seller, this is an opportunity to go short. And it's kind of it's, it's kind of funny how the same thing happened exactly on QS on the same day, right? So the opportunity was there. I taught you guys this before everything even happened. For those of y'all who made were able to make money on this thing to the downside, congratulations. For those of y'all who um, could not make money on this one, again, I taught you guys this thing over and over. This is the eighth time that i'm teaching y'all this all right so the opportunity was still there it happened after the day and like i said before there is no way for me to foresee or to predict which side is going to win in pre-market when the when the video was made at like 7 30 ish there is no way for me to know to foresee this thing all right so pay attention to details pay attention to details I taught you guys this thing. Now, the next one that we're going to be talking about in this video, we're going to talk about another stock that um, that I featured in this channel. That stock is Zyop, Z Y O P, and I got rid of Zyop for a for the same reason. I I saw this thing right. I got in here near five dollars, and then I was holding patiently because again, the pattern still looked good over here. I was still very very patient with the stock. And then what I saw over here was this very obvious opportunity for me as a short seller. Again, keep in mind, keep in mind to not have too strong of a bias. This thing was too clean of an opportunity as a short seller for me to keep holding onto this thing. My stop loss was right over here, right there, right over here. Okay, I never, ever, 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 ever ignore these things, especially when I'm going long. I constantly look for clues to get out, whether it is when it's continuing to go up or whether it is stagnating like this and I'm looking to make an exit. All right, if it makes sense and if the chart tells me exactly to get out and this, in this situation, it did. All right. And just like Fastly also, it did. So this is another crash course for all of you beginners again who are still struggling to read the charts. Um, again, it takes some practice. It takes some practice, but eventually, eventually you will get the hang of it. Um, the next one that we'll be talking about in this video, somebody asked me to do a recap on BNGO. And BNGO, I told all of you that this thing is going to form a double bottom potentially because right now it's in bearish territory it could form a double bottom and because also there is a previous line of support right here at six dollars i do expect it to get there i'm not too bullish on this one yet and the coast is not clear for the buyers to step in heavy so for in regards to this one i would say be very very patient with this and especially if the market keeps dragging on downwards 
um, yeah, we could see that selling pressure come in heavy. Okay, so that is my very honest opinion on that one. And that is the end of the video. Again, do not forget to destroy the like button for the YouTube algorithm. As always, it helps the channel grow faster and allows more people to get this knowledge as well. Also, if you are new to the channel, definitely click on subscribe and click on the notification bell along with all notifications. That way you don't miss out on these post-market analysis videos, which are released every single day in the afternoon and a pre-market analysis videos, which are released from Monday to Friday at exactly 8.15 a.m. Central Time, 15 minutes before the market opens. If you're not following us on social media, you can find me at Paul Nguma and I've had Analogy Lab on Instagram and on Twitter. And lastly, if all of this is new to you, I know we're in scary times in the market, but if all of this is new to you and you're interested in getting started, I left some step-by-step -step directions in the description of the video below. Step one to step three, it only takes about 15 minutes or less for you to get signed up with all the tools you need to start trading immediately. You can also get two free stocks after signing up with Webull using my very first link in the description below. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Nguma with Patternology Lab, where we trade patterns and patterns only. And I'm going to see all of you in the next video, all right? I know, again, with the title list and all that, it's it's just it's tricky. It's YouTube. Y'all know what y'all getting out of these channels. Y'all here to learn. For all of y'all who are subscribing to the channel, you are here to learn. And it's okay. These times are these times are a bit weird. There's a lot of fake outs out there. A lot of flags that are going in y'all the direction. And again, manage your risk accordingly. Don't get caught on the wrong side of the trade. And be very, very patient. And trade what is in the front of you and not what you think is going to happen, if you know what I mean. Enjoy the outro.